Hello friends, I am Deepak from TechPax Research and Innovation Services. Today I am here to present you one of the trending topic that is web scrapping. So whenever we are going to start with the Python languages or other Java languages, we are always looking for some trending topics for our project work or some application development, right? So we are going to start one of the series under which we are going to give the new ideas, the example of the applications as well as a basic fundamental review that what exactly the topic is, how we can do that, what it includes and many more things. So let's start with the topic Python based web scrapping. So before starting it, let's know that what exactly the web scrapping is. So it is basically a process that automatically extract the data from the websites. That means if you are reviewing any of the website, then it will be either designed in the HTML or in the JavaScript or something else. So those are the languages which are used to design the websites. So if you want to extract any kind of the information, for example, the title, uh, the list of the content, uh, the content written in it, uh, other than that, the pictures, videos, audios, whatever is available on the website. So web scrapping is the process that allows us to extract that data from the website. There are a number of the scrapping tools available on the internet. As you can see, few of the names are given uh, in the video, right? Data, Oxylabs, Smart Proxy, but all these are the paid tools. So why to go for the paid one if we can design by our own? So let's start a journey toward developing a web scrapping application. What exactly the applications of web scrapping are? One is market research, sentiment analysis, price comparison, job posting analysis. Other than that, you can extract uh, information related to, for example, if you are uh, using Facebook, right? You want to see what exactly the posts are done in last two days. So you can extract that information from the Facebook application. There are a number of applications such as uh, the YouTube, uh, other than that, uh, the music applications like uh, Savan. So in these applications, you can run your web scrapping code and can extract the information that is available on it. As I have given uh, the example uh, with the price comparison or sentiment analysis, price comparison such as uh, we are running our script or the the code is designed for extracting the prices. So you can uh, go for number of the web based online portals as Amazon, Flipkart and many other uh, portals where the products are there for the selling purpose, right? If you want to compare that information that what costing will be there for the multiple websites, you can just write a code by your own. Similar to the market research that what is trending now these days, sentiment analysis that whatever the content is written in the reviews or in the comments or uh, on our website, what exactly that is. So all that data can be used for the artificial intelligence and all. So let's see what are the steps to start with the web scrapping. To start with the web scrapping, you just need to inspect the website first, right? Second step is to send the HTTP request. HTTP request is basically you just hit a link and from that you can fetch the backend code of that particular website. And then next phase is to extract the information by using any of the programming tool, the web tool or a programming language in which a code is written. Then that the fetch data is to be saved in a structured format either in the Excel or in the database or something else. Let's see how we can inspect the website. Here you can see I'm going to open any of the website, for example, music websites. You can go for any of the website. There you can just open it. For example, I'm going to open the Bing. There are certain other applications like GeoSavan, Ghana and many other. You can open any of the website. So on this website, there are a number of things, right? You can see the logo, the images, the data, the list. You can inspect it. Firstly, you want to, you have to see that what exactly the information is available on that particular website. 
and then you can go to inspect it how you can inspect it you can just press on the F12 that is the shortcut key to inspect the elements here you can see this is the backend code of O website so let me show you in detail I'm just doing it like that for example if I'm going in any of the element I'm just clicking on the element I'm just going to image it will show me the section where exactly it is I'm going to this section you can see on the right hand side it is showing me the particular content if I'm going to select this one it's giving me the information that what exactly it is and many other elements can be there that what exactly they are so firstly you want to know that what exactly uh, the information is available on the website and what you can extract what you want right so I was telling that firstly you need to inspect then through the coding you need to send the HTTP request so the code what we were looking here in the manual basis that can be there in the code designed by you then by using any of the programming language and the tool where you have written the whole code you can extract the information and save it then what programming language are there for the web scrapping I'm mentioning few of them as you can use the Python Ruby Java and the PHP C++ is also one of the traditional uh, language that can be used for web scrapping but these are the popular ones which are adapted by number of uh, companies most of the companies are currently using Python for the web scrapping because it is it has certain features to work with so inspired from that let's see a real-time demonstration of the project that we have designed for you guys to understand that what exactly the web scrapping is this is basically a web scrapping application which is designed to discover the music what exactly discovering the music is basically you can uh, find the uh, different songs on the internet on any of the website so you can find the artist list you can find the songs by the artist list you can see what are the top listed songs there are certain other features so in this particular project we are going to demonstrate an application uh, that will assist you to search a song under different search categories and many other features so let's have a look that what how it works so the whole code is written in the python you can see on the screen here it is i'm going to run it let's firstly run the whole code and can see that how it works so that you people can understand exact meaning of web scrapping we have given the options to search or discover the music as per the user's view. this will be automated script so here we are going to give the uh, options by manual so you need not to go to the website and can need to search the things you can just give your input over here and can process the whole data so what we have done we have scrapped the content from a music website from where we can get the information as for latest songs uh, the songs by the name whatever I will give the artist name the top listed songs and the new songs listed right so these are the four options that we have given so once the connection will be built with a browser of yours there is a particular procedure to do that so you can see there it is written that Chrome is controlled by automatic software so once the Chrome is open you can see uh, automatically a soundcloud.com website is open which is basically a web portal so I'm just accepting the personalized thing you need not to do that so now we do have the option that search by song artist name listed songs new listed songs or close the application for example I'm going to search uh, the top listed songs so I'm just pressing enter 3 and enter it will show me what kind of categories are available for that particular search under which the top 50 songs will be there see there are 42 categories under which you can find the top musics right for example the all music genres alternative rock country dance and EDM dance hall and many other these are the categories of the songs right as I just want to see the folk and singer writer or the disco or all music genres I just need to give the option number here I'm going to choose classical option so I just need to write over here 4 so it will further proceed to that particular page and give you the list that what exactly uh, the songs are avail available under that particular category so under the classical you can see there are certain options 
it is still extracting and showing you the top 50 songs of the category classical so i'm going to choose kali kali zulfon ke fande na dalo by ustad nusrat fateh ali khan so i'm just selecting the option number one here it will start automatically playing you can see the web page is automatically redirected to that particular page and it will start running So it is mandatory that it should be connected to the internet while doing the web scrapping because then only it can load the data. So let's not listen the song and move to the main section going out of it. Next. It again give me the categories. I'm stopping it manually. So now if I want to go for the next search, I just write again X it will give to the main map. Now if I want to search any name, song name, right? So I'm going for the category one. Here I can give the song name. For example, 295 is one of the trending song for Situ Musewala. So let's see whether it is able to search that or not. So you can see it has given us few of the songs under which there are these categories. You can see it is song number five. Bass boosted Sidhu Musewala new Punjabi song. So I'm going to run it. I'm just writing five. Let's see. So you can see it is able to play that particular song. I'm not going for that particular option. I'm not doing that manual way. I'm doing it with my developed code so i'm coming out of this option again and now if i want to go for artist name search then it can give me that particular option and even if i want to get the new listed song that is also the option available so i'm now closing this particular ap application by entering zero so it will just close the browser as well as uh, the backend driver that we have used to execute this particular code so why python why python is recommended over other applications so let's see why it is there basically python is recommended over the other applications especially for the web scrapping because of the simplicity and the availability of the libraries and the framework other than that we all know that python is very much popular now these days and everyone is uh, shifting toward that particular application so there are larger communities those are working on the daily basis and we do have a number of options to work on it we can get a number of examples to work on the things other than that the high performance simple syntax this is obviously uh, the features of the python so i hope you people like this video if any one of you are interested in uh, getting the information related to the project feel free to contact us even this is basically a project of the initial level you can get it at the uh, advanced level as well as we are able to work as per the requirement of the client so we do deal in number of the uh, projects as related to the artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, audio, video, image processing. Other than this, we do provide these services under which we do cover the software development, industrial solution providers, masters and PhD research work. We also do assist in writing the uh, plaque free content, either it will be research or review paper or the report for your masters or the PhD. We can also assist you in developing the codes as per the requirements of the client in number of the platforms like Python, Java, C, C++ and many more. So I hope you people like this video. You can contact us on the given numbers on the screen. We will be back with new of the pro new project that will demonstrate you that how you can start with any of the application that those are trending these days. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.